European Council says a sanctions relief under the Iran nuclear deal will continue to be effective despite U.S. claim U.N. sanctions against Tehran have been restored. Speaking during a U.N. General Assembly, Council President Charles Michel said it's essential to preserve the Iran nuclear deal, also known as the JCPOA. Last month, Washington claimed it started a snapback mechanism under the 2015 nuclear deal, which would reinstate all U.N. sanctions on Iran. Washington said it could do so because a U.N. resolution which endorsed the agreement cited the U.S. as a member of the deal. Other countries, including U.S. allies, have resoundingly rejected the U.S. argument, noting that the U.S. is no longer a party to the JCPOA as it withdrew from the deal back in May 2018. And now joining us out of Ontario is Jason Unruhe, political commentator for more on the story. Hello, Jason. Always a pleasure to have you on. Hope you're safe and well. Your thoughts on the story? About time the Europeans stepped up and finally admitted that the United States was wrong in its actions and not just uh, doing so, but finally making some overtures that compensate Iran for the loss that they've suffered as a result of the unjust withdrawal of the U.S. from the JCPOA agreement. Uh, the, the, the problem here is that the, the Europeans have uh, for a long time, really set, several years in fact, have really sat on the fence about this, whether or not they were going to do anything. And then when Iran would uh, poke them and prod them, please do what you said you were going to do, they uh, slowly drag their feet into uh, saying something and drag their feet when it comes to creating the Instex payment system. And then th they did it very half-heartedly. They didn't bother to enter um, a form of credit into the system, which, which, which is, it, it, it seems strange to me that an international payment system wouldn't include a, a line of credit or at least a mechanism for credit. So I think it's good that the Europeans are finally standing up and saying something about the United States being so very, uh, There's, there's a lot of words that could be used to describe it. I mean, they've, they've, the United States has been very dishonest about the, this whole thing. And I think that this could be the beginning of a turnaround, maybe something that would be very beneficial for Iran. But the, the, but the question is, anybody who now decides to go ahead and do business with Iran are going to end up on a sanctions list for the United States. So, I mean, very clearly, as the, the Europeans are doing the right thing, you know, the old saying that uh, no good deed goes unpunished. And I think that this is probably a situation that we're, we're going to face. The, the United States is probably going to try uh, sanctioning different European countries or different European entities for con continuing to f fulfill their end of the agreement. And that just makes everything uh, much worse because that's what the United States is on right now, a power trip going around yeah. sanctioning everybody and including multiple sanctions on European countries. But Jason, I mean, are the Europeans really doing the right thing at this point or just or are they just basically saying the right thing? Because to your point, they've been playing the fence throughout this whole thing with Instex, with everything else might have covered if even if it was you know uh, basically workable at one point very small transactions not enough for the you know nation's oil reserves and oil transactions and whatnot so my question to you you know the, even if the european uh, council says sanctions relief under the iran nuclear deal will continue to be effective despite the u.s claim that u.n sanctions against tehran have been restored i mean it's easy to say but what have the europeans really done to allow iran to get the benefits for, from the jcpoa well, the Europeans haven't done very much. They've been very much trying to, in, in a way, to balance both sides without trying to anger one too much more than the other, rather than taking the morally principled position of supporting Iran, which it, it, not even just the morally principled position, it's the legally principled position because that's the way the JPCOA is written. The United States, uh, is, what they've done is not just immoral on a moral level, but it's also in violation of the agreement. So I, I really do see this as a situation where the Europeans are going to continue to drag their feet, uh, do probably as, as very little as possible while po uh, 
appealing to the United States saying, okay, we have to do this because we signed a part of the agreement. You know, if you stay in the agreement, then we don't have to do any of this. And I think it's very much that the Europeans are, are going to try to do what they're supposed to do, but they're going to be very wary of aggravating the Americans, and particularly Donald Trump at this point, uh, very late in the first term of his presidency, when uh, many things are in chaos and many things are up in the air. And the, 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 the current uh, President Trump is uh, doing a lot of very questionable things, not just domestically, but internationally as well. So I think there is a great deal of concern there that the Europeans have for the situation.